Hello friends, today we will see questions on regular expressions. Rule says that the string starts with A and ends with B. So let's have the language. So minimum length string possible is AB for sure. Because it starts with A and ends with B. Next is AAB. Next ABB. And like this you know right, there are infinite strings possible in this language. It means a regular expression will be very easy actually to draw. What I will do is A will be the first and then B will be the last. A will be the first and then B will be the last. And I want anything in between E's and B's. I want anything in between E's and B's because it starts with A and ends with B and in between what it comes with I am not worried about and that's why I will concatenate that something part. Means any string is possible now here and any string of A's and B's will be denoted by A plus B raised to star right so you know this we already discussed this all strings of A's and B's how to formulate all strings of A's and B's A plus B raised to star and the starting symbol is A ending symbol is B and I say that now yes this is the final regular expression which is required right now how to uh, have it Let's say whether it generate the first string or not. See, if star is 0, it will be producing epsilon, right? So it means a dot epsilon dot b is always a b, I can say, right? So yes, a b generated. Now is a b generated? Yes, you can say that if star is 1, I will take 1 a here. So means a a b generated. Now similarly, if star is 1, I can also take b also. And then I can say that a b b is also generated. So Let's see the next problem. The next problem says that each string contains starting and ending symbols are same. So now you can say this. Always try to have a language, right? So that will be much easier to understand how to draw regular expressions. So epsilon will be definitely there because starting and ending symbol epsilon itself, right? Similarly, A is possible. Similarly, B is possible. Then A, A is possible. B, B is possible, right? A, A, B, sorry, A, 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 3 A's are possible. Like this, all strings, uh, this is again an infinite language, I can say, right? Now, what I really want to do is, you can see this, I want to generate epsilon A and B separately, and the starting and the ending symbol must be same. So, let's try to draw the expression. What I will do, I want A as a starting symbol and I want A again as an ending symbol too. So in between I will be having A plus B star. Means any string of A's and B's in between of these two A is fine, right? Plus. Similarly, I can have B. So for B also, I will use the same technique, right? So I hope you understood this. Now, let's see whether all the strings are generated. See here, this is not a sufficient regular expression because you will not be able to generate epsilon only. Epsilon only is not generated. Minimum length string possible is AA because if star is 0, you will not generate anything here. But A and A will be definitely generated. If star is 0, either B, B will be generated. So means A, A, B, B and 2 to 3 length string means from 2 to infinity all length strings will be generated. But epsilon is not generated and that's why what I will do is I will say that generate epsilon explicitly. So yes, epsilon will be generated explicitly. Similarly, A should be generated explicitly. And similarly, B should be generated explicitly. I hope you understood it, right? So epsilon plus A plus B plus the remaining part is I can say that a valid regular expression. Now you can see this all the strings which we required are generated. It says that the starting and ending symbols are different. And the input alphabets are A's and B's. So let's try to draw the language. The language will be minimum possible is AB or BA or AAB or ABB. Like that you know infinite strings are possible in this language too. Now how to generate this type of regular expression? See starting symbol is A then definitely the ending symbol will be B and meanwhile whatever comes it of not doesn't has to worry about right so i will say that yes the starting symbol is a ending symbol is b and in between whatever comes i am not worried about 
and similarly b can come first then all strings of a's and b's come and then finally what should come a should come means these are compulsory strings or input alphabets i can say that a and b are in compulsory one this is optional again similarly b and a are compulsory and again the left over is optional i hope this will be able to generate these many strings let's see if star is zero nothing will be generated in between and then a b is generated yes similarly if star is zero nothing will be generated in between and b a e generated now if i want to generate a a b what i will do is i will go here see or plus means either or one of the string will be definitely generated right so either this will be generated or this will be generated which string you want a a b so i will definitely go here and i will not come here so i will say that yes a e generated if star is one if you take star as one definitely you will be able to generate one a also and then finally b e generated and similarly a b b can be generated and hence i can say that all the strings of a's and b's for this criteria are generated using this regular expression right now let's see the next question again next question is where length of the string is exactly 3 now length of the string is exactly 3 means you can see this the language uh, input alphabets are a and b so i will say that something like this so all possible three length strings are there so you have a plus b either of these will be generated and then again a plus b means either of this will will be generated and again a plus b so i hope this is exactly three length why because out of these one will be generated let's say a is generated then here also a is generated then also a is generated so you will get a a a and similarly you will get three b's similarly you will get a a and b so which is equivalent to which is equivalent to a plus b cube i can say that whole cube so and this is a required regular expression either you have this left hand side or right hand side written it's one and the same and i will say this this is the final regular expression of the string is at least 3 now let's again try to have the language what will be language definitely you can say that minimum length string possible is right 3 and then these are all three length strings and then i will be having a a b or a b a a n like this infinite number of strings are possible again so you can see this one thing is for sure exactly three length strings are required for so these are exactly three length string and then you required some more strings of a and b right so what i will do is i will say that how to generate exactly three length string a b cube right so and now what you want you you want any random string of a and b so what i will do is i will say that if i get now anything dot means concatenation of star side yes i am done or you can have something like this similarly you can write right so this is or i can say this and for there is one more or you even you can have so you can have something like this now so now whichever you write any one of this three is correct answer for this question and you will be able to generate the at least three length string here right now the last question of this part length of the string is even even means right simply let's try to have a language of a's and b's so length of the string is even means you can have epsilon also right then you can have a b or b a or a a or b b and like this you might we will be having a even length strings possible now how to have even length string first of all you can see this if i really want to generate a string i have to generate in the steps of two means at least two length string will be there right so what i will do is i will say that a plus b will be generated either of this or again a plus b will be generated now but what will happen with this it will generate all two length strings right it will generate all two length string i just don't want two length string i want a loop of two length string i want a loop of two length string and that's why i will put a star here 
That's why I will put a star here. This way, using star, you will be able to generate epsilon also. And now, if star is 1, star is 1 means go inside this bracket once and take either AB here and either AB here. So definitely you will be able to get AB. Means star is 1, I will go inside and now you have two things to do. You have to select one here and one here because the concatenation is not plus, right? It's not our operation. It's an intersection. You have to select both. So means I will select A first and then I will select B here. Similarly, if star is 1, first I will select B and then I will select A. Similarly, if star is 1, again I will select A here and A here. And that way star can be 2. If star is 2, then you can understand you will be able to generate four length strings. Let's say if star is 2, what will happen? You have to go two times inside. So first time I will go inside. So the first time what I will do is I will select A let's say here and B here. Now this is first time. Now next time means again concatenation. Now next time you have to go means second time you will be going here. And now you can select either B from here and either A from here. So that way what you will get? You will get a four length string right when star is 2. When star is 3 you will get a six length string and that way you will always get a u1 length strings right and now how to have the another representation of it it's a b square i can say that and the whole race to star the whole race to star i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any doubts and questions please put it into the comment section i will definitely get back to you